Tonight I'm on St. Angelo Bridge here in Rome, close to the Vatican, as the sun goes down. And I'm out here to preach the Bible tonight. Apostle Paul was in Rome and gave us the book of Romans. And recently, the Pope gave same-sex blessing to his priest to give to the church. Apostle Paul, if he were here today, he would rebuke the Catholic Church. If the apostles were walking Rome today, they would all storm the Vatican and rebuke Pope Francis and rebuke the Catholic Church. The Catholic Church does not represent the Word of God. Matter of fact, the Catholic Church is more about traditions that they have come up with than the Word of God. The Catholic Church, with their traditions, uses that authority over the authority of Scripture. But heaven, heaven is different. God's Word is the authority to the church. Only God's Word can establish a true biblical church. So with that said, I'm going to read Romans chapter 1. Romans chapter 1. Apostle Paul. Paul, a servant of Jesus Christ. Called to be an apostle. Separated unto the gospel of God. Which he had promised afore by his prophets in the Holy Scriptures. Concerning. Now, if I was at Mardi Gras, you'd be with your beards and you'd be shouting. Wouldn't you? Catholics love to get drunk. They love Mardi Gras. That's why the Catholic Church allows you to give money for your indulgences. But one of the reasons Martin Luther had problems with the Catholic Church was because of indulgences. Jesus said, go and sin no more. Nowhere in the scriptures do you find indulgences. Mardi Gras or Ash Wednesday. Jesus died on the cross to prove and demonstrate the love of God. While we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Hallelujah. And God raised him from the dead. Verse 3. Concerning his son, Jesus Christ our Lord, which was made of the seed of David according to the flesh and declared to the Son of God with power according to the scripture of holiness. 
by the resurrection from the dead, by whom we have received grace and apostleship. Beer is much better than this. That's because you're a sinner. If you think beer is better than the Bible, that's because you're not saved. Jesus Christ came to save you. Just this week, Pope Francis talked about wine being a blessing from God. Uh, Apostle Paul told Timothy, have a little wine for your stomach. Wine was never intended for drunkenness and orgies. You know, when you get drunk, you start taking your clothes off and doing things you wouldn't do sober. You sin, and more sin, and more sin. That's what Mardi Gras is all about. Catholics love to get drunk. Tell me I'm wrong. The Irish Catholics, they fight people and they get drunk. Catholics are not followers of Jesus. Catholics are followers of the Pope and the teachings of the Catholic Church. If you want to go to heaven, you must be born again. You must follow Jesus Christ. The only way to heaven is to follow Jesus. Repent of your sins. Put your faith in Jesus Christ. God is not willing that any perish, but that all come to repentance. <laughs> One billion people follow the teachings of the Catholic Church and have been deceived thinking their baptism will somehow get them into heaven, get them forgiven. The only way to be forgiven of sins is Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins. He was buried. God raised him from the dead. Three days later, he was seen by over 500 people according to the scriptures. God wants to save you. It, it breaks God's heart. How many people are deceived by the doctrine of devils? My greatest exhortation to a Catholic is simply read your own personal Bible. Read the Bible because you'll know the truth and the truth will make you free. That's good news, people. Jesus died, was buried, rose again. You don't have to go to man for forgiveness of sins. You go straight to Jesus. Jesus, forgive me of my sin. He will. Jesus will forgive your sins. He's good. He's a good God. I'm reading from the book of Romans. In Rome, the very chapter where Apostle Paul speaks against Homosexuals. Now, the Catholic Church is endorsing same-sex couples, but the Bible says it's worthy of death. That's where we get the authority between right and wrong it's not the Vatican, it's the Holy Scriptures. What God says is higher than George 
Marino! Mario! George! Mario! A.K.A. Mr. Pope Francis. Mr. Pope does not represent Jesus. He needs to come off his throne. He's not a man of God. Apostle Paul, man of God, in jail in Rome, had his head chopped off in Rome. Peter probably never even visited Rome. It's nowhere in the Bible that Peter came to Rome. Hallelujah. Verse 4. And declared to the Son of God with power according to the Spirit of holiness by the resurrection from the dead by whom we've received grace, apostleship for obedience to the faith among all nations. By, for his name. Whose name? Whose name is exalted in heaven? It's not Mary. Mary is not the queen of heaven. There's only one exalted. That is Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. When you open up uh, heaven, the Bible says you see a lamb on his throne. That's Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is the Lamb of God that takes away the sins of the world. Yes, I'm a Protestant, and your church needs a Bible spanking, Catholics. Your church is an abomination before a holy God. God does not endorse same-sex couples. There's no such thing as same-sex couples in heaven. There's no such thing as same-sex couples on Noah's Ark. Says the Bible. The only people on Noah's Ark were the righteous. Only the righteous made Noah's Ark. Eight people made Noah's Ark. To all that be in Rome, beloved of God, called to be saints, grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ, who is Lord. Pop quiz, Rome. Who is Lord? That would be Jesus the Christ. The Lord Jesus Christ. Mary is not Queen of Heaven. Blasphemy. Blasphemy. Verse 8. First, I thank my God through Jesus Christ for you all that your faith is spoken of throughout the whole world. Now, this is talking about born again Christians and their faith being spoken throughout the world. I believe it was William Tyndale. He said, you can't talk about Jesus Christ without mentioning Antichrist. And he was burned at the stake in Brussels, Belgium, for simply wanting people to read the Bible. But Catholics 
outlawed the reading of the Bible for many, many years. They said, don't read the Bible. It's too hard for you to understand. Shh, don't read the Bible. Just give us money. Just give us money. Just give us money. We'll help you out of hell. Just give us money. We'll help you out of purgatory. First of all, you cannot buy your way out of hell. Only the blood of Jesus Christ can get you out of hell fire. Indulgences are a doctrine of the devil. Second of all, there is no such thing as purgatory. Jesus said, those that believe will be saved. Those that don't believe will be damned. There is no purgatory. Only Jesus Christ can forgive sins. You must be born again to see the kingdom of God. God loves you Catholics. God loves you. God wants to save you. But you must repent. Put your faith in Jesus. <laughs> For God is my witness, whom I serve with my spirit in the gospel of his Son. Then without ceasing, I make mention of you always in my prayers. Apostle Paul had a prayer life. Apostle Paul did not pray repetitious prayers to Mary. Nowhere in the scriptures do you see praying the rosary free. Apostle Paul was praying fresh, new prayers of his heart. That's what you can do. That's good news. You can pray to God what is on your heart. Throw your rosary beads away. Throw your rosary beads away. Mary is dead. The Bible says, do not pray to the dead. It is forbidden by the word of God to pray to Mary, to pray to saints. God wants you to talk to him from your heart. Do you want a relationship with God or do you want to go to the priest? Next time you go to the priest for your sins, ask the priest his sins. Say, excuse me, excuse me, have you molested a boy today? Have you molested any little boys today? You're laughing. God's not laughing. God doesn't think pedophilia is funny. The Bible says if you cause a child to stumble, it's better to put a milestone around your neck and throw yourself into the sea. There's a whole lot of men over there in the Vatican that need to put milestones around their neck and go jump in the water. Because that's what Jesus said to do. If you are a child molester, go jump in the water. Bible, 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 Bible.